Hi there, welcome to the channel. I'm Johnny Keeley and I'm excited about this video because we're going to be editing entirely on our mobile phones um, with a free app, which means, you know, pretty much anybody can do this. So we're going to focus completely on Lightroom Mobile and we're going to focus on a specific tool in Lightroom Mobile. So we're going to look at four ways that we can use the radio filter. And then at the end of the video, we're going to use all four of those ways to edit a photo just using the radio filter. This is a photo from at nice guy travels on Instagram and I'm going to use this photo to um, talk about the first way we're going to use our radio filter and that is to add a light source. Uh, now if you look at this photo you can see that we've got some really nice highlights uh, on the left hand side of these um, of these sort of dunes so uh, what we're going to do is we're going to this photo has already been slightly edited um, to get it ready for this part um, so we're going to go to selective Click the plus in the top left, then the round circle with the dots around it. Okay, so now we have our radio filter. We're gonna click, well press and drag. And we want it something about here. We're gonna create a light source. So for example here. Now the red is where it's gonna be affected. So now we're gonna go to light and I'm gonna up the exposure slightly. There you can see what that's doing now. It's brightening up that area. Gonna do a bit more. Uh, and then we're gonna go to effects, dehaze. We're gonna do even more. I'm actually gonna change that feather because it's too it's too too much. There we go. So I'm gonna stretch this out. Now we have a light source, but as you can see, it's completely the wrong color. So we're gonna to go to color, temperature, and we're gonna change that and warm it right up like this. Uh, I actually want it warmer. I want it really warm. And I'm gonna darken. I've, I know I've added exposure, but now that I can see it, I'm gonna to go to uh, to my selection again, and I'm gonna to go to light. I'm actually gonna darken that a little bit. Okay, so now you can see, if we move that, you can see that if I was to put it on the other side, it doesn't make any sense because the light, the highlights are hitting the left-hand side of each sort of part of this image. Uh, so we want our light source to be coming from here. Now from within that, you can continue to edit your photo. Uh, so that's how we add a light source using the radio filter. So the second way that we're going to use the radial filter to edit our photo uh, is to add shadows or dark areas to our photo. Um, you can see this in this shot here, this is a shot I took uh, on the Isle of Skye. Uh, I loved getting these foregrounds in just like this, just blurring it out, uh, but it can be a little bit distracting. So this is gonna be really simple. We're just gonna hit, and we're gonna hit plus, and we're gonna hit the middle one, and we're gonna drag this radial filter out to about the size of here. Now you could do this with a graduated filter as well, but I prefer the sort of circular way it rolls off and I feel you have a little bit more control using the radio filter than you do with the graduated filter. Um, so once we've done that, we're gonna go light and we're gonna bring the exposure down like that. Really simple. Um, but what it does is it just darkens that foreground so that it's still there, it's still having this sort of depth effect, but it is not distracting as quite as much as it was in the shot originally. The third way we're gonna use the radio filter to edit our photo is now to add a little bit of haze. Okay, so uh, we're actually gonna zoom in and we're gonna look at this sort of breaking water down here on the edge of the cliffs. I love the white in it and I, and I wanna bring it out a little bit more. Um, we're gonna to go to selective, hit the plus, the middle one with the circle again, and we're gonna drag it out, but this time we're gonna make it quite thin. We're gonna rotate it and we're gonna drag it all the way up here. So we just wanted to cover this area here. You know, normally I'd be spending a lot more time on this, but I just wanna show you how powerful the radio filter is when it's used in this way. Okay, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna up the highlights there so you can see how we're bringing out the water and maybe just increase the exposure a tiny bit. Uh, and then we're gonna add an effect, we're gonna add dehaze. So you dehaze and then you just, you know, I'm, I'm minus 15 there. So, I mean, I, if it was me and I was at Adobe, I'd rename the dehaze tool to the haze tool because I never use it to dehaze. I always use it to bring this sort of a little bit of atmosphere here. So, okay. So now we can see if I, if I press and hold, you can see the difference there that we really brought out those sections there. Um, now what we're gonna do is just do this section. We'll just do a little bit more because you, 
You could do this with the adjustment brush. The reason I like doing it with the radial filter is because you've got more control after you've done it. So for example, you can see how this is looking now. If I press and hold, you can see uh, before, after. There are some other edits on here as well, by the way. But uh, if I was to expand this outlook, we can move this up. We can make it almost feel like the water is crashing against the cliffs just a little bit more. We can make it look a little bit more dramatic in the water here. Now we've lost a little bit of sharpness and clarity in that, but you could always pull that back a little bit later. So that's using the radio filter there to get a bit of haze. We're gonna edit another photo at the end of the video uh, where we're gonna use kind of all the tools that we've used uh, for one photo. The fourth way we're going to use the radial filter to edit our photo is actually using it as a vignette effect, but with much more control and much easier control. And this is a great way for you to really hone in on your focal point of the photo. In this photo, you can see the focal point is obviously the lighthouse. What we're gonna do is we're gonna use the radial filter here just to darken the edges around it. So hit selective plus, uh, the radio filter and we're gonna drag this out let's just start by just filling the frame here with it uh, and these rocks are kind of framing the area so we're gonna just put it about there now you know the red area is obviously where we're affecting but this way we're gonna we're gonna invert it so just above the bin there's a sort of a contrast button we're gonna hit that and that's gonna invert so now the middle area isn't being affected and the area around it is what's being affected so we're gonna hit light we're gonna pull that exposure down and let's go extreme and just show you what's happening. Uh, so it's darkening everything around. Okay, so we're gonna pull it back up so it's a bit more normal. Um, and maybe this, this one above there, that's the feather. Uh, now we can use that. If we drag it upwards, you can change the feather a little bit. The feather is the how steep the gradient is, so how fast it goes from dark to light. Uh, so we're gonna pull that down a little bit. Now I haven't done any other edits to this photo, normally I would have done, but I'm just trying to show you this uh, technique to just to really focus in. So there's our photo, uh, and there it is without anything. And straight away you can see that we're, if nothing else, we are definitely focusing in on that lighthouse a little bit more. This is the photo we're going to look at editing. Now I went really extreme on this just so that we can make the point really. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my hand off the phone and we're gonna show you the edit. So that's the edit there. This is before and this is after. So I've removed all of the radio filters and we'll just see what we have left. We have this uh, gradient filter up here. So that's just adding a bit of haze to the top. Uh, and then we've got some uh, really selective adjustments just on the highlights of the trees there. And we've got a little bit on the road, as you can see, we've got this a radio filter running right up the road. So we're gonna remove that one, okay? So the first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna hit selective plus radio filter, and we're gonna add the haze that we want to the photo. Let's just go a little bit longer because we want it to sort of run from that area there. So we're gonna go effect, dehaze, and we're gonna add this sort of haze effect here. Got to be careful that we don't let it run over that little bit there. So now we're going to go again, selective, and we're going to darken the area now. So now what we want to do is get it about there, and we're going to use the, the middle tool here, which is the feather tool, and I'm just going to feather that down a little bit and make it maybe a little bit bigger. Now we're going to invert it, so we're affecting everything else, and we're going to go quite extreme here. We're going to pull that light down. So all that's happening, as you can see, there's a radio filter, and I'm just reducing the exposure now. And that's having that huge dramatic effect on there and there's a little something I'd like to do as well because if you can see onto the left hand side of this photo um, you've got all of these trees and there is some light coming through those trees so uh, what we can do is quite crudely uh, add another and we're going to just drag that up rotate it and we're actually going to just cover this area here um, and we can just add a little bit of light on there. So now you can see it almost feels like the light is coming through and hitting that side there. Uh, and so now maybe one last little thing that we'll try. Now this is pushing the radial filter to its limit probably. Uh, and sometimes I will use it on a road like this. Um, again, the way it tapers off actually lends itself quite well to roads. So 
we're just going to brighten the road a little bit. And what you can do with roads quite nicely is you add texture and it can pull out all of the uh, grain in the road. So there we go, let's go back to the original, that's the original and that's our edit. Really quick and really powerful using that radial filter tool. Thanks very much for watching everybody. I hope you feel like you got something out of that and I hope you feel a little bit more confident in editing your photos on just your mobile phone. If you did get something out of it, hit the like button and hit the subscribe button and I'll see you in the next video.